नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता अकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम लोग क्लास सेवन के ज्योग्राफी में लेसन नंबर थ्री टाइड इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं सो so फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसके क्वेश्चन आंसर बायड कर सकते हैं ये लेसन नंबर थ्री टाइट्स उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन प्रिपेयर अ चैन बाय मैचिंग द फॉलोइंग ग्रुप ए ग्रुप बी ग्रुप सी दिया गया इसको हमको मैच करना है द एंसर इज फर्स्ट वेब वाइंड दीज आर ऑल्सो जनरेटेड ड्यू टू अर्थ क्वेक्स एंड वॉल्केनोस सेकेंड सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ ऑब्जेक्ट गेट थ्रोन टूवर्ड्स द आउटर साइड थर्ड ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स द मून द सन एंड द अर्थ ऑपरेट्स इन द डायरेक्शन टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ फोर्थ स्प्रिंग टाइड न्यू मून डे हाइएस्ट हाई टाइड अकर्स ऑन दिस डे फिफ्थ नीप टाइड एट्थ फेस ऑफ द मून और क्वार्टर द फोर्सेस ऑफ द सन एंड द मून ऑपरेट्स इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू गिव जियोग्राफिकल रीजन फर्स्ट टाइट्स आर इन्फ्लुएंस्ड मोर बाय द मून दैट द सन द एंसर इज फर्स्ट कंपेयर टू द सन द मून इज क्वाइट क्लोज टू द अर्थ सेकेंड एस इट्स इफेक्ट द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑफ द मून बिकम मोर इफेक्टिव दैन दैट ऑफ द सन देयर फॉर टाइट्स आर इन्फ्लुएंस्ड मोर बाय द मून दैट द सन नाउ नेक्स्ट सेकेंड एट सम प्लेसेस अलोंग द कोस्ट द लो लाइंग एरिया टर्न इन टू लगूस और मार्सी लैंड द एंसर इज फर्स्ट लो लाइंग एरिया अलोंग द कोस्ट आर फ्लडेड एंड ड्रेंड बाय द सोल्ट वाटर ब्रॉट इन बाय द टाइट्स सेकेंड दिस प्रोसेस लीड्स टू अ ग्रेजुअल डिपोजिशन ऑफ सन सी वॉटर एंड सेडिमेंट इन द लो लाइंग एरिया थर्ड इन सच रीजन प्लांट्स देन टेक रूट and hold the soil firm against the forces of tides and waves fourth this gradually helps in maintaining mangroves and the coastal biodiversity in the low lying areas in this way at some places along the coast the low lying areas turns into lagoons and marshy land now next third place located on the opposite meridian to the place experiencing high or low tide will also experience high or low tide respectively the answer is first when a particular place or located on a particular meridian faces the moon the gravitational force of the moon exceeds the earth centrifugal force as its effect the water is pulled towards the moon second at the same time at antipodal location or on the opposite meridian the centrifugal force of the earth exceeds the gravitational force of the moon the water is pulled in the direction away from the moon this causes high tides at these two places third the water required for the high tide moves in from the place on the two opposite meridian that are at right angles to those having high tides causing low tide at those places thus place located on the opposite meridian to the place experiencing high or low tide will also experience high or low tide respectively now next question question number 3 answer in brief first if there is high tide at 7 am find the timing of the next high and low tides on the same day at a given place the answer is if there is high tide at 7 am the timing of the next low tide and high tide will be approximately 1:12 pm and 7:25 pm respectively now next second if at mumbai 73 degree east meridian there is high tide at 1 pm on thursday then on which other meridian will there be high tide too state with reasons the answer is if at mumbai or 73 degree east meridian there is high tide at 1 pm on thursday then on 107 degree west meridian too there will be high tide reason first a place on the earth located at the opposite point of the place experiencing high or low tide also experience high or low tide respectively at the same time second 107 degree west meridian is exactly opposite to the 73 degree east meridian now next third explain the reasons for the generations of waves the answer is first the main reason for the generation of waves is wind second sometimes sea waves are also generated due to earthquakes or volcanic eruption occurring below the floor of the sea now next question question number 4 in what way will the following depend on the tides first swimming the answer is first swimming while entering the sea one must take earthquake information 
of timing of the tides. Swimming is a deep sea during tides can lead to serious accident. During high tides, it is always safe to swim in shallow water near coast. Second, steering a ship. Ship can move up to the ports during high tides. Therefore, one must steer a ship by taking into account the timing of the tides. Third, fishing. With the high tides, fish moves into the creeks. Therefore, fishing is largely carried out at the time of high tides. Fourth, salt pans. During the high tide, sea water can be stored in salt pans. From this water, salt can be obtained. Fifth, going to coastal areas for trips. While going to coastal areas for trips, one must have details about the timing of the tides, structure and slope of the coast, rocky areas, streams near the coast before entering the sea waters for enjoyment. Now next question. Question number 5. Observe a figure 3.8 of neap tide and answer the following questions. This is figure 3.8 neap tide. First, which face of the moon does it show? The answer is the diagram shows a face of quarter moon. Now next. Second, what are the relative positions of the moon, the sun and the earth? The answer is the relative positions of the moon, the sun and the earth are such that the moon, the earth and the sun makes an angle of 90 degrees. Now next. Third, what effect will it have on the tides? The answer is such positions of the moon, the earth and sun will lead to neap tides. Now next question. Question number six. Differentiate between first high tide and low tide. The answer is high tide, low tide, high tide first. A rise in a sea water level is called high tide. Low tide first. A fall in sea water level is called low tide. High tide second, at the time of high tide, sea water is very close to the coast. Low tide second, at the time of low tide, sea water is far away from the coast. Now next, second is spring tide and neap tide. The answer is spring tide, neap tide, spring tide first. Spring tide occurs on full moon and new moon days. Neap tide first, neap tide occurs on quarter moon days. Spring tide second. During spring tide, the total pool and receipt of sea water is much higher than the average pool and receipt. Neap tide second. During neap tide, the total pool and receipt of sea water is much lower than the average pool and receipt. Now next question. Question number seven. Describe the positive and negative effects of tides. The answer is A. Positive effects of tides. Positive effects of tides are as follows. First, with the high tides, fish moves into the creeks and this helps fishing activity. Second, the tides clear the waste and hence the coast become clean. Third, due to tides, ports do not get filled with sediments. Fourth, ships can move up to the ports during high tides. Fifth, during high tide, sea water can be stored in salt pans from which salt can be obtained. Sixth, the tidal force can be used to generate electricity. Seventh, the tides help in maintaining the mangroves and the coastal biodiversity. B. Negative effect of tides. Negative effect of tides is as follows. A lack of an understanding of the timing of high tide and low tide may cause accident to swimmers entering the sea. So friends, today we have completed lesson number 3 ka exercise. Complete hua. Friends, how did you this video? Kaisa laga? Aap log comment box mein jaro likh kar ke batayiye. This video ko jada se jada like kijiye, apne friends ke saath share kijiye, taaki unko bhi question answer mil sake. Aur is channel ko subscribe kijiye. Namaskar, dosto.